Imagine designing a metal plate with four holes for assembly. You specify the hole diameter as 10 millimeters, plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. But what about the hole locations? Using simple plus or minus dimensions creates a square tolerance zone, which doesn't match how drilling actually works. Drills wander in a circular pattern. This mismatch can lead to parts that technically meet the drawing but still don't fit together. That's why we use geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, or GD and TGD and T, is a precise international language for defining allowable variation in a part's geometry. It replaces ambiguous notes and clunky dimensions with clear functional requirements anyone can understand worldwide. The key advantage? GD and T focuses on function, not just numbers. It defines tolerances based on how the part will be used, allowing for realistic manufacturing variation and reducing costs. In this guide, we'll break down the basics, core terms, symbols, how to read a GD and T callout, and the power of material condition modifiers. We'll also see how GD and T drawings are inspected and share practical tips to get you started. By the end, you'll have a solid foundation for creating functional, cost-effective designs. Let's dive in. At the heart of GD and T is the Feature Control Frame, or FCF, a rectangular box that communicates geometric tolerances. The first compartment holds the geometric symbol like position or flatness defining what's being controlled. Next comes the tolerance value, sometimes with a diameter symbol or material condition modifier. The remaining compartments list datum references, exact points, axes, or planes used as measurement origins. Datums create a stable frame of reference like the floor and walls of a room. The order of datums matters, primary, secondary, and tertiary, each locking the part in place for measurement. Key terms, a feature is a physical part element, like a hole. A feature of size has opposing surfaces like a hole's diameter. A datum is a perfect reference. A tolerance zone is the allowed space for a feature, and the FCF is the box that ties it all together. Mastering these terms is your first step in reading GD and T. The FCF tells you exactly what's controlled, by how much, and from where. This clarity is what makes GD and T so powerful. Let's look at the symbols next. GD and T symbols are grouped by the type of control they provide. Form controls shape without reference to other features, straightness, flatness, circularity, and cylindricity. Orientation controls how features relate to datums, perpendicularity, angularity, and parallelism. Location controls define where features are relative to each other, position, concentricity, and symmetry. Profile controls can define size, shape, orientation, and location all at once, profile of a line or surface. Runout controls are for rotating parts. Circular runout manages wobble, total runout controls both wobble and taper. The most common symbol is position, used for holes and pins. Each symbol tells you what's being controlled and how it should be measured. Understanding these categories helps you read any GD and T drawing. Next, let's unlock the secret to smarter tolerances. Material condition modifiers are a game changer in GD and T. The three are Maximum Material Condition MMC, Least Material Condition LMC, and regardless of feature size RFS. RFS is the default, tolerance applies at any size within limits. MMC, shown as an M in a circle, means the tightest tolerance applies when the feature has the most material, smallest hole or largest pin. As the feature departs from MMC you gain bonus tolerance, for example a hole drilled larger than its minimum size allows more positional error. This bonus tolerance lets you loosen manufacturing requirements without sacrificing function, cutting costs. LMC, the L symbol, is used when minimum wall thickness is critical. Using MMC for clearance fits like pins and holes is a best practice. Material condition modifiers make your designs more robust and economical. Now let's see how these tolerances are checked in the real world. GD and T only works if you can inspect it. Coordinate measuring machines, CMMs, are the gold standard, probing parts to create a 3D model and compare features to the drawing. For high volume checks, functional gauges like go slash no go pins quickly verify if a part meets MMC requirements. Other tools, optical comparators, calipers, height gauges, are used for specific features. Always select datums based on how the part will be used in assembly. Use MMC for clearance fits to maximize bonus tolerance and reduce costs. Avoid over-tolerancing, only specify what's functionally necessary. Remember, GD and T is a universal language for function and fit. The feature control frame is your core tool. 
material condition modifiers unlock cost savings. Master these basics and you'll create clear, functional, and economical designs.